Okay, I'm Lindsay Smith. I'm here with Jennifer Bales with Wolf Tracks, and we are talking DDP. What is it? Uh, how does it work? All right, well, DDP stands for Dry Dispersible Powder, and it is a patented feature of Wolf Tracks innovative micronutrient fertilizer products. In fact, it is a feature that allows our products to evenly coat onto NPK fertilizers. And this is a patented feature, again, that's unique, that means growers need far less product to fertilize the same amount of acres. Now, just a quick question, DDP, we're talking micronutrients, right? I mean, what are, these, what are the nutrients that farmers would be applying or seed treaters or those sorts of things would be applying? Yes, Lindsay, for the most part, DDP does refer to our micronutrients, but we do have some secondary nutrients that are formulated as dry dispersible powders as well, this being magnesium and calcium. For growers in Western Canada, though, what we're really talking about are copper, zinc, boron, and iron. Right, and so iron certainly shows up as an issue for soybeans, uh, copper often for wheat. Um, show us, now this chart here sort of outlines uh, the difference maybe between conventional micronutrient products and the DDP uh, granule, so maybe, or the powder. So maybe tell us about that. Sure, well we like to refer to this as the sledgehammer effect and really what it means is that you're traditionally having to use a lot more fertilizer to treat your crop needs than what the crop is actually removing. So we've taken a sample here of three different crops, corn, soybeans and wheat and looked at the actual crop removal on an average year based on average yields. And you can see that in corn, for example, really we're talking about half a pound per acre is what's physically being removed from the soil in an average corn crop. Now, traditionally, before growers had the option to purchase DDP micronutrients, they were having to use five pounds per acre of granular micronutrient fertilizer products just to get any sort of distribution in the field. With the wolf tracks approach, we're much more closely matching crop removal because we're using your NPK fertilizer as a distribution system within the field. And I have a great example to show you here, Lindsay, uh, if we can look at these bags here. What we have in front of us is enough fertilizer to fertilizer one acre. And in this site here, we've actually drawn out an acre uh, for the people that are at the tour today to take a look at. We have is roughly 150 pounds of N and 50 pounds of potash with 50 pounds of MAP. And in order to fertilize one acre with the old granular micronutrient products, you would need approximately this much 12% copper oxysulfate. Now you can envision that this is the amount of copper oxysulfate that would fertilize this entire acre. So the chances of getting a granule near your wheat crop are not that great. With the Wolf Tracks technology, this is the amount of copper Wolf Tracks DDP product that we would recommend using for one acre. But the unique feature of this product is that it will actually coat onto each prill that you see in the bags in front of you. So you're using all of these points of contact with the plant to feed your crop with copper. And this functionally is a unique feature of Wolf Tracks that we call our even coat technology. And it ensures that each plant is going to have access to a small amount of copper. In fact, we guarantee it with our growing forward guarantee. Okay, so now we're going to also, we're going to move over to another plot and we're going to actually take a look at sort of a visual demonstration of, of that dispersion. So you bet. Head over. Come here. Okay, so now we're looking at a very visual representation of this, disper this dispersion. So take me through this. All right, well what we have is what we call our tray demonstration. It really is a great way to visualize the impact of the wolf tracks coating technology in points of distribution in your field. What we actually do is we start with the 12% copper oxysulfate based on the recommended rate of two pounds per acre. And what you can see is distribution of these orange granules in the field really shows that there are gaps in your field. So for growers using copper oxysulfate granular technology, what you're getting is uneven distribution in the field and many spaces where your plants won't be able to access it. If you look at the adjacent plot, we have the Wolf Tracks recommended rate of Wolf Tracks copper DDP coated onto your NPK fertilizer. So what you can visually see is there are many, many more points of contact with the Wolf Tracks copper product for your crop because we've used the NPK as an excellent distribution strategy for the Wolf Tracks micronutrient.